Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial on testlink from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we will learn about the platform management and then uh, what is the significance of platform management and how it is really helpful uh, to manage different platforms or different uh, combination of the test cases that you want to execute in testlink. So to add or remove platforms in uh, test link you just in the left hand side uh, column just go to the platform management section and you can create different platforms so depending say for example you uh, are developing an application or your organization is developing an application or software that is supported on different platforms or different versions of the OS or different flavors of the OS say for example Windows Linux AIX etc so you can create different platform for that and also depending on say um, you are doing a development work for uh, the UI application and those UI application are supported in different browser versions so you you, you can sort of create a platform or create um, a, a platform for each browser and that what uh, flexibility it will give is you can execute similar test cases or do a permutation combination of similar test cases on different um, uh, platforms or different browser versions say for example you have login functionality or registration functionality for any application um, and your application need to work on Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, etc. Just create a platform for each of these and then start executing the test cases for each of these um, app, uh, each of these browser. So I'll create, click on create a platform and I'll say I uh, as the first platform um, and then I can say Chrome as to browsers there and then I'll say Windows 8 and I'll create another as Linux all right so for example you are having these four platforms so I've created these four platforms now what I'll do is I'll go to the um, test plan and click on add test cases um now select the test cases that you want to add uh, and let's say select test suite sorry uh just click on the sorry, click on the uh admin again let me check why the platforms are not listed there so i've created four platforms here uh, these platforms should be listed in the plan uh, when we go ahead oh sorry I uh, will could just go and add uh, and remove platform so once you have created your uh, platforms you need to add these platforms to the plan so whatever test plan you have created uh, say for example for this test plan all these four platforms need to be added just um, add these to the assigned platform and save it okay now if you go back to add and remove test cases for this particular test plan you should be um, able to see uh, the platforms listed right so any suite that you select you will see different platforms available here now depending what all combinations combinations you want to execute your tests on you need to select those particular platforms if you want to select all just select um, just click on this platform um, checkbox and then click on add selected all right so now these test cases in uh, these four test cases will be added to this test plan uh, and for each platform you will be um, required to execute these test cases now if you go back to the execution so if you click on execute tests 
oops sorry uh, there is no build at the moment so we'll create a build as well which is the version that we discussed before uh, because I deleted that so I'll create the version uh, and then create another one as well and go back and click on execute tests and now you can see that sample test plan uh, platform is Chrome uh, build version is 02 so depending which version you want to execute and which platform you want to execute so for example these test cases I'm executing on Chrome just select that particular platform and expand the tree right uh, and select the test case to execute okay uh, so execution will be similar as we discussed so at the moment it uh, because I didn't assign these test cases by default so uh, anyone who is executing these test cases um, can assign to themselves so you can you know like just uh, check this box here and it will get assigned to the current user who is executing this test case and provide the duration and say pass so this test case got executed on platform chrome right so similarly you can keep going and execute other test case in the um, cycle um, if i select another test case um, just want to show uh, the test case which has the steps i believe there uh, don't have these test case let me add another test case which has the steps in it so we'll see um, this one and click on version one add all of these uh, going back to the execution Click on execute tests I'll expand the whole tree and see if there are steps oh, this doesn't have this step yeah so this test case has the steps so if you if your test case has steps in it so it will uh, show you the step actions step uh, expected results and the execution node so depending on uh, each execution cycle that you're doing so whatever expected um, results you have got whether they matched uh, with the expected uh, the actual matched with the expected you just put your notes and you can mark the execution status as passed and failed once you are done with all these test cases or all these steps as pass or fail if you have marked them as pass and fail um, and just at the end provide the duration say for example this test case took five minutes um, it got passed you just simply mark the test case as passed all right so now once um, you have marked your test case as pass and fail it will get recorded against that particular platform right so I'll just say move to the next test case and it will move to the next test case on this particular platform so that's um, pretty much how you execute the test case if it has um, if it has the test steps in it how you can attach the uh, the files or the screenshots uh, if you're taking the screenshots for uh, the test execution and the relevance of platforms in test link so once um, the execution happened you can see the test reports and metrics uh, depending on how the execution has happened so whatever test case have been assigned to you you can just simply say test case assigned to me and you will see what uh, test case has been assigned to you and whether that has been executed or not so you can see this test case I assigned to myself and the status shown is passed and the platform is Chrome right uh, if you go back you can see uh, other metrics and reports so if you go to test reports and metrics you will see different reports which I'll cover in the next tutorial um, the other important bit to remember here is uh, around the metrics dashboard right 
so once the execution uh, starts so you can see that how the execution went or basically in this particular test plan what all test cases were being added so you can see different platforms so chrome you need to execute eight test cases ie8 uh, so all those eight test cases need to be executed on all these different platform and what is the current uh, progress and how the execution is happening you can see on the metrics dashboard so the metrics dashboard is very important and very useful if you want to see the overall test execution progress uh, uh, how it is happening in your project it gives you a, a good progress percentage etc and what is the amount remaining um, in the particular execution cycle so that's pretty much all for um, this tutorial hope you like this uh, tutorial please do like um, and uh, share and subscribe to the channel um, thank you for watching